Beta testers, we are gathered here today to rejoice in the trampling of an evil. Through trial and tribulation, weathering ridicule and cancellation, a sickness has been placed under a spotlight so that it might be effortlessly recognized in the future. We may stray, we may stumble, we may falter, but this, no. Man and woman are biologically different, <laughs> in ways profound enough that it is typically apparent at a glance. Men and women fit together, and better than any other combination. This is why we, the human race, exist. This fact, however infuriating as it may be for hypocrites developing, designing, and conceptualizing what used to be your favorite tension-relieving media, I thank you for starving them when they sent out their collection plate. I thank you for being loud and firm but with a little bit of sag like a titty. But most of all, I thank you for liking, subscribing, and pushing these videos up so that we can do the one thing they don't want us to, unite, regardless of our differences. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> the Japanese people who I agree with only recently got a good look at the ugly fable character that they're calling a woman, and you'll be overjoyed to know that, just like us, they consider it a bucket of garbage, and the studio, who hasn't put out a product in over a decade that thought it was a brilliant idea to market its upcoming slop with an ugly character, is suffering a loss of staff as the property fable slinks right back into development hell where its bitch ass belongs, to which I say, Good. If your objective was to light money on fire because there isn't enough of that going around in Hollywood and kill your own studio like Forspoken and Saints Row did just now, then congratulations. Allow me to share with you some of my favorite quotes from the Japanese people as highlighted by outlet Niche Gamer. Androgynous like, ugly, isn't this a man? I can only see the face of a bastard. If Link had this kind of face, I'd immediately throw my switch out the window like a frisbee. Aloy still looks better because she looks like a beautiful woman from some angles. <laughs> it feels like a face that was beaten over and over again with the political correctness stick. Yeah, damn. For anyone who didn't watch the Fable trailer, the air quotes, Woman slays a giant man, literally, how you like that, patriarchy? Then at the end of the trailer, she's about to eat a sandwich, but potentially recognizing uh, the, the negative connotations that a sandwich has with her gender, or what she's supposed to be, I guess, she chucks the sandwich over her shoulder. Mmm, norms. If you look closely, you can see that she's sitting on a pair of broken glasses at the end of the trailer, and this is, of course, symbolic over the fact that you'd have to be blind to be able to enjoy some of the kind of repulsive ugly bitch like this. But I digress. Like, subscribe, comment, and correct me below because what seemed like maybe it was just some nerds complaining about Star Wars movies changing has actually revealed itself to be lazy uh, hacks, race swapping, gender swapping, just an obsession with injecting uh, gender politics into garbage that was already so poorly written because it, it's a reflection of the writer. The writing is terrible because the writer is terrible. These people are socially inexperienced, unimaginative, and useless in so frightening a capacity that the repulsion power level that they possess is matched only by how ugly they are inside and out. And that's why they're ugly in the game because they're all fucking self-inserts, blobs with faces, making Jabba the Hutt look delicious. So for this video, I wanted to look at what I consider the upcoming competition and explore what looks objectively good in my opinion. For the most part, it seems to strike the chord of, above all else, being fun with Project Mugen, an upcoming game that, for anyone with functional eyes, should pique your interest for these specific portions, 
vehicle, riding, high-flying traversals, seamless transitions into combat, flashy moves as expected, but sexy characters. Looks like somebody's out here intending to make some real money. During Gamescom the other day, they showed off a game that impressed me with just how much woke they could fit into a single frame. If I may read the tweet that I made that it inspired, Mio Mayo Vitiligo Fat and Flat Next to Albino Trans woman with a jawline more chiseled than most of the men that I've ever seen. Gaming. How the fuck y'all gonna compete with Japan and AI? This is how the West wants to make games. So I feel the need to assert, with all the dormant power vested in me as a Jamaican Floridian, I promise not to burn the world down at any upcoming gender reveal parties, because I understand that the mole people shuffling through the gloomy, dimly lit halls of the wretched studios that these pronoun goblins paradoxically call a workplace are so ugly that people have probably been hospitalized for breaking their necks trying to avert their gaze too abruptly upon sight of one another. But in reality, everyone doesn't look like their natural habitat is a goddamn Walmart, so it's lovely to see cute cool and sexy representation because representation should always have meant that more people have a seat at the table and that all of us are represented not less in favor of a weirdly small percentage that is honestly like i feel about tanya in mortal kombat just wishing that if you were going to shove this shit in people's face and make them even more aggressive towards races that you would at least make them pretty jesus christ this woke shit had a good run but in the end even crazy appeal couldn't save the newspaper or the horse from their replacements. They simply became obsolete. And like these games journalists that know that they're getting replaced by AI and have completely dropped the pretense <laughs> that they're not hypocrites, so too will quote modern gaming fail to compare to its competition. I was going to talk about these games, but do I need to? Can't say we didn't warn your bitch ass. This made up imaginary modern audience that you're trying so hard to push. Get the hell out of our industry. You just going to find a pole to let out all your troubles on and hope that people throw some singles at you. You know what I mean? Not that there's anything wrong with that. So listen, remember to be fun. Omit all of that clunky, immersion-destroying, forced ugly, and stop limiting yourself with laziness, developers. And I say that because I'm talking to you right now, beta tester. You, modder, designer, artist, you're going to go forward and do better than what you've seen because that's how low the bar is you don't get to stop yourself and be your own obstacle and oh that everybody can do better anymore have you seen what they're producing you can type eight words into ai right now and have a fucking building above these subterranean <laughs> these dwellers you know what i mean jesus christ just just bring a flashlight a floodlight and just mm, oh my god they'll recoil you know what i mean i thought we were the shut-in dweebs not compared to them not compared to them so hopefully the 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 people that represent this old phased out media that are so hypocritically gay and groomer that they'll remove people from the game for saying leave children alone yet offer bunny rabbit and wolf and kitty cat furry skins and model bulges for men in their gay furry ear wearing trash but force Nicki minaj to have so such long hair that it's like a cape that covers specifically her ass and please forgive the gamer for coming out real quick, but Call of Duty aggressive SBMM, slowest pace in Call of Duty history, catering to campers, forced lobbies disbanding, broken radar, terrible maps, and greed wasn't enough. They had to jump on the women gotta be hidden, censored, and ugly bandwagon. We gleefully observe your hubris amidst your block busting of your own damn franchise because the Netflixes have arrived 
and I have no idea why Fortnite hasn't come for your lunch money with first person. Because these kids will remake these Halo and CSGO and all of them maps in a second preview. Because all of them games are dead too. All Unreal Engine Fortnite has to do is drop all of us in a small map, take off that overshield diaper, and we will play the hell out of that. But again, forgive me, I digress. I'm one of the few people excited when I see how wonderful things like Doke V could be if they just realized this project as they've presented it. But literally years ago, they're like, you know, listen, uh, only after Crimson Desert goes out, are we going to be focusing or worrying about updates for that? And I'm like, OK, you know, the years, years pass, man. What I didn't expect was to look at Crimson Desert. And have the kind of, wow, you know what I mean? Looking at it, because again, anybody with eyes is going to be comparing this to Zelda the way maybe you're comparing Mugen to Spider-Man because of the traversal. Most gamers are, you know, they're just going to draw those comparisons, those conclusions. Wukong looking great. First Descendant and, and Stellar Blade. I could sit here all day. I don't want anybody listening to contact or reach out to anybody and spam message anything anywhere unless it's me pictures of you. But if I could choose one thing that you guys could meme it's the 60 second video of how to establish jiggle physics i think it's so powerful one of us for free made this quick tutorial for whatever we're making on how jiggle physics work i know some trans people that pass and they still have fun online with VTuber bullshit. And let me tell you, they're the outcasts because they don't have it rough enough. Ah, you know what I mean? That's crazy. They, they're like the light skins. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have it rough enough. Oh, they're the Beyonce's of the trans community. But they're not scared of jiggle physics on their VTuber. Why? Because they know it's more appealing. And I know it sounds moldy, but... If the Modern Warfare 2 Halo 3 era ever happens again, it'll be what you're talking about for the next two decades as a gamer. And something tells me I'm hoping to reach out and grab an experience like that in the first Descendant because it's feeling a lot like Destiny, but for straight people. Love you. You know, go to my wish list and... And, and show me what really is going or go into the discord and show me what's really jiggling or or sh or go into the comment section and just tear it up one comment is not enough one like is probably the most the site will allow you to do but you know you know call up some girl and be like i'll pay you attention if you like this video and she'll be like <laughs> Anything for you? Who the hell, Kyle? It's Kyle. Damn it! All right, bye, guys.